everybody. My name is Katie. Uh, you can normally find me at the Clarkson Library where I am the children's librarian. I get to do a lot of fun things like story time and helping kids find the right book for them. Uh, but my very favorite thing to do is art and science projects. So I thought that since we're all stuck at home for a while, we could do some art and science together. Uh, today's project is something called an agamograph. And it is a really cool way of combining art and math. And a gamograph looks like this. So when we look at it from this direction, you see a heart eyes emoji. But then when you turn it, you get a frowny face emoji. Okay, so a gamographs are based on the work of an Israeli artist named Yaakov Agam. And his work is all about perspective, how we look at things, which direction we're seeing it from, and how that changes the piece of art. Um, so to make your own agamograph, you're gonna need a couple things. Luckily, you probably have most of them. Um, the first thing that you're gonna need is something to color with. I'm using markers. Uh, colored pencils or crayons will work just fine. You're also gonna need a glue stick, some scissors, and a template for your gamograph. Um, there are two pages to this template and there is a link to a PDF with all of the instructions and this template included in this post. So the first page of your template looks like this. It's two bar graphs um, with uh, strips that are about an inch wide each. And you can see on the top one, we've got all the odd numbers from one to 10. One, three, five, seven, nine. On the bottom one, we have all the even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten. The second page of your agamograph template is one long bar graph and with also strips that are an inch wide. And up here we have all of your numbers in order one through ten. Uh, you can make your own template if you want, if you're really good with a ruler. Um, and a pen. You just want one inch strips, two uh, bar graphs of five each, and one of ten, all the same width. Now, as we talk about going forward, uh, for my younger friends, the things that we want to really focus on in this project are our fine motor skills. We're going to be doing a lot of cutting and a lot of gluing, um, and that takes practice to get right. So we're going to practice today. Um, it also involves us putting things in sequential order, in the right order all the way up to 10. So we're gonna practice our counting. Um, for my older friends who need a little bit more of a challenge, um, I want you to think of two different images, two things that go together, that have some sort of relationship. Uh, so you can see mine have, we've got happy and we've got sad. You can also, so those are kind of opposites. You could do like night and day, or black and white, that kind of thing for an opposite. You can also think of transformations, like a caterpillar into a butterfly or a seedling into a big flower. Um, just think about two things that go together. Uh, if you need even more of a challenge and you're making your own template, you can go ahead and shrink down the size of your template graph. So these are all an inch. You could probably go down to about half an inch before you really don't want to go any smaller. Um, and the smaller your pieces and the more that you have, so if you went down to half an inch, you'd have 10 on each, uh, the more detailed it's going to be and the more complete the optical illusion will be. Okay, you guys ready to make an agamograph? So the first thing that we're going to do is draw two pictures. I've got my happy emoji and my sad emoji. Um, the more colorful that you make it, the cooler the eventual effect is going to be. So try and fill up the entire page with color. I also like to do kind of simple shapes that are big and bold because I think they make more of an impact. You can experiment with doing really detailed drawings or with like a bam, here it is. Okay, you've got your two pictures. The next thing that you're going to do is take your scissors and you're gonna cut out each strip of paper. Um, it's very boring to watch people cut things. So I went ahead and did an extra one that I cut up before we started recording. Now, once you have all of your pieces, you are going 
to put them in order from one to 10. So I've got, I think you can see that better this way. I've got a one, this way. I've got a one, a two, a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the pictures are interspersed. It goes every other one for your happy, sad emoji. So you don't see one complete picture yet, but you see two ones that are all like mixed up together. So once you have your pieces in order, you're gonna take that third sheet or that third graph from your template and you're gonna start gluing. You're gonna glue strip one into box one. And you're going to go all the way down until you've got 10 glued into 10. And when you do that, it's going to look like this, right? So we've still got our interspersed emoji. Can't really make any sense out of what it is. I mean, you can kind of see what it is, but uh, it doesn't make visual sense yet. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, this is the trickiest thing in the entire project. Uh, so this is something that it might be helpful to ask for help from an adult um, to do. And it's a great time to practice being really patient and taking your time and trying to line things up. We are going to fold this flat piece of paper into a fan and we're going to make our creases along the strips of paper. So we'll start right here and we'll crease and then we'll flip over and we'll make sure that we're creasing right on the edge and not in the middle of a strip and we'll crease and then we'll go back and forth. I'm doing this very quickly because mine you can see is already creased but if I was doing this for the first time I would be going much more slowly and you should be too. All the way down. Until you've got a beautiful fan. Now, oh, upside down. When you open up your beautiful fan, if you look at it like this, you've got the flat sheet of paper. When you crumple it back up into fan shape and you open it up and you look at it from the side, you can see you've got your heart and you've got your crying emoji. Sometimes it takes a little while to figure out exactly how to hold it so that you can see what you want and you don't see all the extra, but I think you can do it. And that is how you make an agamograph. Um, I would love to see any agamographs that you guys make at home. Um, so if you're looking at this on Facebook, go ahead and add a picture to the comment section. Um, and if you guys have any questions for me, you can always get in touch with me and I will always answer them. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.